back to school shopping. Your kids want trendy, you want affordable. If you have $100 in your back to school shopping budget and you blow it all on a pair of jeans, that's it. That's all you got. Moreno Boyle shows you how to get both. Stretching your dollar tonight at 5. Tax-free weekend's over. Did you take advantage? But now you can still get some great deals and clothing if you are on a serious budget. Moreno Boyle enlisted some local students to help find fashions which are both trendy and frugal, and they make everybody happy. It is tonight's Stretching Your Dollar. Pretty, pretty These beautiful kids aren't models, but they were happy to help me. Fashion writer Rachel Sutherland joined us to talk trends. Sydney is a senior and loves this powder blue shawl sweater. You can belt them like she has it here, or she can wear it open for a little bit more casual look. This shade of green, especially, is a great way to transition from summer into fall. She's paired it with some denim and a blue scarf to like make it a little bit more folly. Hannah has layered this coral t-shirt with a black tank and skinny jeans. Summer was very, very full of color in terms of fashion, and it's not really going anywhere for fall. Love this top. Yes, it's a really fun tank top. Yellow and gray are super hot. What makes all all these clothes that much more appealing? All the items we've pointed out cost $5 or less at Goodwill. It's about $5 at Goodwill. $5. So that could probably fit into a freshman's budget. Rachel has a tank top, a sweater on, and jeans. $45 minimum for the outfit. If you're buying retail at Goodwill, it's $12. This came from Goodwill, it is but from it Goodwill. was originally sold by Banana Republic. Banana Republic. Isn't that amazing? And so Banana Republic, you're thinking probably $29, $30, $35, depending on where you catch it in the sales cycle. And at Goodwill, it was $4. At a big box store, Aiden's polo and shorts could go for as much as 50 bucks. Total cost at Goodwill, $6. It's very sharp. Ivy Walker is Sydney's mom. She uses shopping for frugal fashions as a bargaining tool. She likes the idea of being able to save that money because right now a car is very very, very important to her, and she's really realized that where we can save in one area, we can use it in another. Maureen O'Boyle, WBTV, on your side. Maureen wants to remind you, bargain shopping takes time, and if you are a die-hard bargain shopper, you know the hunt is half the fun. More shopping tips from fashion writer Rachel Sutherland with this story on the Stretching Your Dollar page on WBTV.com.